Hi, I'm Joe Mornville, President of Energy Independent Solutions in the Keys Rocks, Pennsylvania. I'm Mike Schmerl, Senior Technical Advisor with Harvest Energy Solutions in Jackson, Michigan. My name is Bailey Wagner and I am the Growth Coordinator at Third Sun Solar here in Athens, Ohio. As a small business owner, I wear a lot of different hats. Every day I'm doing something different. I do all the design work, and then I do all the inspections at the end. One cool thing about my job is the opportunity to have my hands in so many different sections of our business. I guide the sales staff through all the nuances and details they need for a complete sale. Post-sale, it turns into a real construction job, and I continue providing the information needed for successful install. We're providing both something of meaning and of quality that will stand the test of time. We were working at a festival, and we had our solar trailer with us. This kid ran up to us and started asking me a ton of questions. And after about 20 minutes, he kind of looked at me and furled his brow and then looked back at the trailer, kind of shook his head and said, well, that makes sense. Solar should be everywhere. Every project has a unique challenge. Every customer has a unique need. But there's always some problem that needs to be solved. And I really like that part of the job. I never talk about green, I don't talk about things like that, I talk about how we can make you energy independent. The current status quo is a utility company runs the power. We change that status quo. Well, I know it sounds cheesy, but solar really is the way of the future. You know, it's an abundant form of energy that's around us all the time, and it makes no sense not to harness it. I was explaining the concept of solar to a farmer, and I used the following analogy. It's a crop that he plants once, never waters, never fertilizes, and it produces revenue for 30 years. Some utilities are already at war with solar, and it's time for us as an industry to come to grips with that. They understand this eventuality that the grid is going to become distributed, and they want to delay this as long as possible. Dirty energy is cheap and it's really easy to not be motivated to make any kind of moves when you're comfortable. You know, energy independence is something that everybody should be able to care about and everyone should be able to get behind. There are far too many communities that don't understand solar and thus place legislative and permitting hurdles in the way of successful installs. My advice to fellow installers is to learn the codes Use only the highest quality materials and installation methods and don't cut any corners. Keep proselytizing the gift of solar and the strengths of it and keep educating people. I mean, education is huge. Just educate, educate, educate. So as an industry, we need to focus on quality. We need to stop putting up what is cheap and convenient, focusing more on what is high quality, will last and stand the test of time. I hope that by 2030, that solar is boring. The question will be not does solar really work, but why don't you have solar yet? In 2030, I will be 73 years old. Do not call me before 10 a.m. and I have a nap scheduled for 2.30. I do expect to have an all-electric home, still powered by the array installed in 2013 in my backyard. You know, we have actually a lot of older customers who've been waiting decades to be able to go solar. They just are thrilled to be able to do something positive and to try and leave you know, the planet a little bit cleaner for you know, their grandchildren. There are plenty of naysayers. There is, however, a growing army of people who want to do something for the environment. They understand how easy it is. They see the monetary side of it. They understand the revenue and they want more of it. Solar to me is independence. Solar to me is burgeoning. Solar is the future.